Yeah. Ain't got no jury on, still I'm shining hard. Ain't got no bodyguard, walking solo through the mall. Bitches and the hoes know they see me, they like, there he go. They be like, there he go. School boy, there he go. Chiefin' like a motherfuckin' Seminole. Here we go, off probation, probably go to Mexico. Furthermore, can't find this in the store, this shit ain't for the low. Got my daughter swaggin' like her motherfuckin' daddy, though. Daddy, though. The patio, what a motherfuckin' view. Nappy chin heads, bitch, I'm motherfucking kill you. Uh, motherfucker, motherfucker, yeah, fucking is my favorite word. Reason why I'm fucking her. She swallowed my dick and balls, whatever occurred. Purr, purr. I love that kitty cat, ass fat. Going back, I can't believe you wiping that. I had cut here in, in town, and then I moved away. And then I moved back, and then uh, I had a. Uh, uh, befriended Eli, he started it a year before I moved back to town. And when I moved away from town, I uh, sent a lot of my people to Eli because he had just moved here and got started. So we kind of just befriended each other and, and, and hooked up. And then uh, when I moved back to Eugene, uh, I just came and started working here with Eli. What does it mean to me? Yeah. It means I get to eat dinner every night. No. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it, it's a it's a, a a good place to work as far as you know. I love what I do, and uh, uh, I think it means you know it's a place for people to come and congregate and and uh, you know meet new people and, and uh, just have a good time when I get the haircut. Oh man, you know, urban with a you know I grew up in. Portland, so you know more of an urban vibe, but uh, also like a multicultural vibe. You know, I like I like it to be set up so that uh, people of all walks of life can can uh, you know feel comfortable in this environment. I, I like there to be a little piece of everybody up on the walls when they come in here. You know, whether that be black. People, white people, Mexican people, gay people, straight people. Well, I think that uh, barbershops have changed uh, along with the communities that they're in. And I think that as as our communities are more integrated and, you know, and, and, and less segregated, I think that barbershops are, are changing along with the community and along with this country, you know. Uh, because, you know, traditionally, you would have barbershops that would just be for white folks and barbershops that would be for black folks. And, it, and the barbers couldn't cut black, white barbers couldn't cut black hair and vice versa. So hopefully I, I see most faded, you know, in the forefront of, of kind of like the new generation of barbershops where, you know, every, everybody can be catered to. My, well, you know, my, well, uh, my earliest memory is, you know, because my father, he cut my hair, and that's kind of why I became a barber. But my earliest memory was going to the, the barber college in Portland, in downtown Portland, with my dad and getting a haircut. <clears throat> and, I, and, I, and I always remember how it'd be cool to work in that place, you know. And, you know, I, I probably was like five or something, you know. So that's my earliest memory. memory. And you know, from the eighth grade on, I cut my own hair, so I never really went to Barbershop. Yeah, <laughs> to everything. I mean, you name it, we talk about it. We talk about everything that you can't usually talk about at home. <laughs> In front of your wife and your girlfriend. But I mean, yeah, we talk about current events, we talk about you know, things going on around around the city here. I mean, politics, you know, we, we talk sport. Uh, of course we talk sports and how much we all hate the Lakers. And, uh, you know, we talk about, you know, everything, you know. Oh man, you gotta be, a, you, you gotta have good social skills, you know, you have to be able to talk to everybody, you gotta know, um, 
how to communicate with people from you know other countries, other cities, other states. Um, and you have to keep on getting better at what you're doing. You know, you can't always think that you're the best and that you know you can't get any better. So I think those are some of the key aspects. You know, you got to be available to people. You know, you got to kind of sometimes go out of your way. You know, to cater to certain people. You know. And you got to be in a good mood most of the time. Somebody told me life is like a traffic jam Just an approaching my exit, will I be back again? My homies tell me keep rapping for us, you got it down If you can't put the G on the map, then nobody can Push crumbs on plus seats like 4 deep Hit a Delta 88 straight bucket with no beat But we riding like a Bentley I'm bending corners and rolling Doja until the bag empty Can you feel it?